If in fact it comes out at that base case, let's assume that for the moment, what does that mean for U.S. companies doing business in and with China? Well, uh, U.S. companies are hurting in, in many different ways. Uh, as someone uh, said, we're paying the short term, uh, we're paying the costs over the short term, and over the longer term, the Europeans and the Japanese are getting the benefits. And I think that that's very true. Uh, American companies, particularly in the tech sector, are facing really strong headwinds as Chinese buyers are wondering whether or not they're reliable over the longer term. So there are a lot of challenges, particularly in tech, uh, but uh, across many other industries as well. Uh, American farmers and ag are hurting, uh, uh, and uh, the service companies are very uneasy. Uh, so uh, you've negotiated these sorts of deals as a U.S. ambassador to Brunei. Uh, yep. What is it that the United States could do, Robert Lighthizer specifically could do, to move this thing forward more aggressively? Well, I think that we uh, need to look for a, a good deal, not the perfect deal. Uh, the perfect deal is out of sight. Uh, we're not going to make uh, China, all of China, look like uh, Westchester or uh, uh, Washington, D.C. That's just, just not going to happen. Uh, but a good deal, and indeed I would argue a historic deal, is within sight. As Secretary Mnuchin said, 90 percent of it is done, so let's get the other 10 percent done and get a deal uh, that benefits American companies, workers, farmers, and ranchers. It is within sight uh, if we are, are realistic, uh, compromise, uh, and work with the Chinese on an equal footing.